This is how we're gonna start this deal, iCash 2022. Welcome to the channel. Look who I found. This is your first video? You this haven't is... recorded? You didn't do like the airplane and all that? No, airplane would have been not allowed on YouTube. It was so bad. Yeah. We are here at the Big Bite booth. Matt's on his way. He's got lots of meetings to take care of today. I look decent though. You look great. See, look, I even went with like the shoes. skinny taper. Very nice. We're gonna talk about all the new stuff we've got at Big Bike. We've got some pretty cool stuff here at iCast. And to tell you about it, the coach. <laughs> hey the coach. Bradley, what's going on, man? Glad to have you with me today here at Big Bike and the iCast 2 2022, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the sensation. Now, I will say before we get into that, we do have a bunch of new colors and some other baits. They can check it out online in our catalog and it's it's designated by Starburst and some of our good old shapes like the BFE, for example, yeah. that you developed. Yeah. So it's all good, you know. But let's talk about the new, latest and greatest deal. It's a sensation. It comes in this bag. It's in a different bag, okay? I don't recommend you sticking your nose in that bag, however, because it's powerful. It smells. It's got a new scent to it. it smells really good. But anyway, to make a long story short, seven new shapes in it. We took the Smalley Smasher. We changed it to the Sensation Smasher. We've got the, the little Slim Minna. In it. We've got a cliffhanger worm, which is a great little drop shot worm. You got the Somali, which is like a flat worm. It's another drop shot bait that works really well. You got the one that I like the best. You got the, the fighting frog pictures on the trick stick. We call it the quarantine crawl. And then I think you shaky head guys will go crazy over that one. All right, then you got another little drop shot worm called the skinny stick. And last but not least, we got a chunk that was developed by Clifford Perch, the ram tail chunk. It's going to work really well as well. So that kind of gives you a rundown anyway. This guy's also kind of been like the face. You really have. You've been <laughs> I don't like know about all the that. The face of Big Bite for a long time. So I'm going to let y'all in on something. Les is about to retire. I am, but uh, it's been a pleasure. Congratulations. Sure. Thank all you. Right. Here's the close up. Y'all want to see the close up? Here they are. Michael Neal in a dunk tank. Literally put him in a dunk tank. Tell us how you're feeling before you go in the dunk tank. Uh, warmer than I will be and a lot drier. Are you guaranteed going in? Oh, I'm sure. Somebody will run up there and hit it. So I know who may be knocking him in the water. <laughs> I think that guy's thrown a baseball before, so we're going to find out. Plenty of fun for Sunline booth. So this video, I'm gonna to try to stay on new products. I'm not gonna shove anything in here that's not new. So some of it'll pertain, some of it won't. Um, Sunline, we've got some new shock leader stuff that's out. Some monofilament, some fluorocarbon. Um, it's all shock leader stuff. I believe that the monofilament stuff's all pretty big. I just looked it up and 30 pound test was the smallest that we had. Cause I was thinking maybe this would be some pretty good stuff and maybe braid to a monofilament leader on top water is what I was thinking. But uh, 30 pound is the smallest in that right now. Uh, fluorocarbon, this is all shock leader material. So anything that's gonna have an aggressive bite, this thing's gonna have a little bit more stress than just your regular fluorocarbon and that's what it's designed for. Um, this stuff comes in a lot of different sizes, more so fit for bass fishing than salt water. But what I really want to start this video up about was this right here. This is Tornado v -Hard. This is a uh, leader material as well. You can tell it's a very small package. Um, it comes in small diameters all the way up. So this is for drop shot. This is for braid. It has the new plasma rise technology in it. This is the finest. There's no exaggeration. This is the ultimate. The ultimate leader material for your spinner rods, drop shot. Anything that you're tying your braid to your fluorocarbon, this is the juice, dude. 
Um, I'll put all the stuff at the bottom of this video down below. Look, and I'll have all the links tie you straight in. I know Tackle Warehouse has this in stock right now. On to the next booth with new material. Good okay, job. guys, we are uh, half co booth. Got a lot of uh, trophies here. I think there's like four or five of them. The two that I really think are going to help you guys on our channel. One of the ones that I'm most excited about, the new barricade jacket. So this thing comes in five different colors. Uh, improvements on rain seats. One of the biggest ones is this is what they call a speed vent hood, right? So basically, when we're running down the lake and all that wind's blowing our hood up, it's allowing that air to blow that back down the back side of your neck, keep that hood down tight on your head. Double cuffed, double insulated knees, all the way down. It comes in really, really, really cool colors. So I think it's got a little AFCO branding on the shoulder. It's really, really soft and light. I'm gonna have one of these ordered here pretty soon. One of the other things that they got another award for, best in category in footwear. This is something I've been waiting on because AFCO didn't have any of these. Uh, new deck boots, really excited about it. They come in three different colors. Dude, they're flexible, they're soft, they're lightweight. Throw them in the back of your rod box right where you lay your rain suit and uh, you can use them anytime you need them whenever it's raining. And these are extremely comfortable to wear. So I've already got a Let pair of them. Let me tell you a little something nice. about me. It's Saturday night I need New stuff. The baits that you haven't seen. Right here. Chad Chad. And not only do we have a new glide bait, dude, this is the knockoff of the KGB that came out of the Ozarks that everybody's been talking about for the last two years. Everybody's been trying to knock it off. Actual man, Kevin Brightwell. He's gonna explain it to you. So, uh, dude, I'm really excited to be here with Kevin. He's cool, he helped design this bait, Whispero. Yeah, he did design the bait, Whispero. Um, he knows all the ins and outs of this. This is the glide bait, guys, that everybody's going to be talking about for the next year or two to come. Primarily price point, right? Right. On top of the fact that it's catching fish better than everything else out there. So, tell us how we got here. Um, well, as everyone knows, anybody who knows KGB swim baits, I make these out of I make these out of resin out of a shop. I've got a small shop started a handful of years ago, and uh, they blew up. We couldn't get we couldn't build enough of them out of my own shop out of resin. So it was kind of ironic back here in COVID. Uh, was searching for hooks. Called Kamigatsu, put in my order, and it got down to where I've had to give him my email for order confirmation. And he goes, wait, I know who you are. You want to do a collaboration? It wasn't a, He didn't say, hey, you want to sell us a design or anything. He said, do you want to do a collaboration? I said, you know what? That sounds really good. And uh, long story short, we decided to partner up and do the Chad Chad, one of my most popular baits. Hopefully, it's going to be one of the most popular baits for Spro as well. So that's the inside story, and I mean the inside inside. All right, guys, here in the Gamagatsu booth, the new hybrid swing head. So you can put any hook that you want on this thing. Uh, you can put any hook that you want on it. What I like about being able to drag a swing head with this one is, is that it's tungsten. Um, I've been throwing that tungsten jig a lot lately. I'm very impressed with it. There's a big difference in it and lead just with bottom contact, which helps with my feel, right? So the fluorocarbon to the tungsten, big difference in the sensitivity of levels uh, throwing something that's tungsten or opposed to throwing something that's lead. I'll probably run a 4 aught and WG through it. Um, it's a big thing that we do all over the country, dragging the swing kids. They come in 3 eighths to 1 ounce. Brand new from uh, Gamagatsu. Also, while I'm standing here, this is the new EWG Finesse Feather Books, and they're new. These come in the uh, tournament grade wire, which is that real slick you know, uh, film that they have on the outside. I haven't had these in the EWG style hooks. So this is brand new also for 2022 for Gamagatsu here at ICAST. On to the next booth. Really cool product so far. Been super excited about it. Dude, that Chad Chad is killing it. We're gonna find some more cool stuff here at the show. Let's go see what else we can find. Uh, best in category of freshwater reel for 2022 at ICAST. We are at the Shimano booth. It is the Stella. This thing is Unbelievable. I did. Best of freshwater reel, 2022. 750 bucks. Bargain. But it does feel amazing. Amazing.
I'm not going to go over these. I'm going to let Mike do it. So McClellan has been with Falcon for 35, 40 years, older than what <laughs> Mike is. That's how long he's been around. So he is uh, actually Falcon Mafia. So three new rods we got at Falcon. Tell us about it. Well, you know, basically with Falcon, you know, you've, with all the different series, you know, you've got the Buku, you've got the Lowrider, you've got the Experts and the, the Karas, and, and one rod that we've been missing in the Lowrider line has been a, a good jerkbait rod, one more like what Jason and I throw in the Experts and in the Karas. So we've got the 6'8 Lowrider jerkbait rod. I mean, it's basically got the same action, of course. With it being a Lowrider, you're going to be a little bit slower, a little bit more parabolic, but it's going to be a super rod for throwing all those jerkbaits. When you start thinking about bladed jigs and the reactions that most of us are throwing, we all want a rod that's a little bit slower action. This is the 7.3, basically about the same action as the, the 5.173 that we have in the Expert and the Kara, but it is in the low rider now, so it's gonna be unbelievable for bladed jigs. I mean, it's even a rod that I'll probably throw bigger spinner baits on, and that is the new Falcon 7.6 big bait rod. I mean, this is a heavy action rod, this rod has come on board for, you know, the, the glide bait craze. The, the fact that there's guys still wrecking them on Alabama rigs. Big soft swim baits, line through swim baits. The big bait rod is gonna be the rod that you're gonna be able to get that done with. So be sure and check out all the new Falcons. This is in the Kara, the other two are low riders, but check out the new Falcons introduced this week at ICAST. Hello everyone from Rigging with the Coach again. I got my man Bradley Hallman with me. I say the best for last. We're gonna talk about the bait that Bradley invented, the BFE. Now he did everything on this from A to Z, and uh, I'm gonna let him talk a little bit about it and we'll throw a few things in as we go. So Bradley, there it is, man. Let's talk about everything new at ICAST. This is actually a new color. That's right, that's right. color you were pretty heavily involved oh, in. Oh yeah, the green pumpkin flamethrower, that's right. My wife actually named that. So. Really? So yeah, definitely. GP flamethrower, but uh, yeah, it's a brand new color in the BFE. You guys, there's a lot of you are always asking how you can come out with any new colors. This is it. It's as loud as it can possibly be. I know I'm excited to flip it. I mean, anything muddy water stain, early in the year, midsummer, it doesn't matter to me. I can definitely flip something like this. I mean, it the BFE because BFE stands for best foot forever. Not me, but the bait. <laughs> Just a wonderful design. It's a base design to be able to fish coast to coast. Whether you're fishing grass mats in Florida to coolies out in California, and then I've always said all the bushes and Oklahoma in between. But right. yeah, dude, it really definitely, is. It's designed definitely. for it because I designed it to where a guy can fish with a, with a straight shank hook on braid if you're flipping big weight. Uh, slot and everything in there. It's designed for a four aught straight shank hook. You use an ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half. But it's also designed for a four aught EWG. I mean, the bait was literally laid around the hook so they would fit both of them. Because I personally like to flip on fluorocarbon around wood, which requires a different hook for me, and that's what this bait is designed for. Both. Well, I tell you, iCast has been a real success. I know Bradley, I tell you, it's back kind of like it used to be. There's been uh, lots of people here, and we're glad to see that. And I want to wish you the best on all the opens coming up and hope that you do super well, definitely. And for that, that's gonna close us up this year at ICAST from Big Bite Baits. We're done, that's it. We're gonna close out ICAST. Hit that like, bump that like, subscribe. Go, go, go subscribe to Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Just leave Bradley alone. That's right. Just come on that's over, right. go that's come right. home, that's come right. home. That's right, that's right. Hey, but we're going home. We are going home Thank and God. I'm ready for it to I'm be so over. Tired. It's the first time I've seen him all week. We've been here for three days and I haven't stopped to talk to him once, yeah. and that's true. So, guys, yeah. catch up with him and we're out of here. See you. See you.